a ver ahora. Ahora ya estamos grabando, chicos, ¿eh? que lo sepáis. Le he dado el botón para que entren los espectadores. Sí, Carlos. Puede venir. Carlos. Carlos. Yes. My image is, is my image is stuck now. Yes, yes. I can hear you better, a little bit better, but it's not perfect. But my you, image? And the image is good. The video is good. It's good. So now we okay, Pedro, very good. I can I have you. Pedro, muda o nome. Muda o teu nome. Ah, mudar o nome. Ah, espera, a lo mejor lo puedo hacer yo. No, él puede. Sí. Acho que sí. Y el otro Pedro. Voy a compartir la tela só para experimentar. Okay. ¿Están a ver? Sí. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Pedro, ¿se te oye bien también? Pedro Gama Filho no tiene ni son ni... Open it for me. Open it for me. ¿Qué dice? No tiene... No, no, no tiene vídeo ni sonido. Que entró como... Ah, como tocha. No, no, no. Ah, pero no es el... Permitir hablar. Ok, lo puedo hacer, eso sí. Sí. sí más. Ascender a panelista. Ok. Ahora yo creo que ya. ¿Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Ok. Okay, I'm and we here. can see you. Okay, very good. Good. Almost pronto. We are ready. Yeah. We're ready. Yes. On time. Shoot. Pedro Gama. Pedro Gama starts. Eh? Yes. Should I should I start or some uh, like? Pass the word. Ah, abre tu Rui e passa lhe a palavra. Okay. Quando quiseres. Deixa só ver aqui uma coisa, ok. Yes. É só um, um ou dois. Sim. Começa já. Anda, quando no princípio, já está cheio de gente. Vamos Sí. Venga, empezar, chicos. ¿Podemos comenzar? Sí. sí. Hello, my friends. Good morning or good afternoon. Welcome to the Beach Wrestling Webinar. Um, my name is Rui Marta, I'm from Portugal. With me, another educator, Stylianos Canidis from Greece. We hope that all is well with you as your family. Uh, this pandemic leads us to certain times and strange times. Uh, that it is a high risk for all one mankind, but uh, I think we will win. Uh, with us, Pedro Gama Filho is going to spoke to speak uh, uh, some words now. Pedro, please. Uh, thank you, thank you, Rui. Uh, since I'm in Rio, I'll say good morning to everyone, mm -hmm. and I make Rui's words my own when he says that we hope to find everybody, everyone healthy and in good in in good terms with their own families in these crazy times we live in. Uh, beach wrestling is a very strategic tool to United World Wrestling. And it's been since uh, the beginning of beach wrestling, but especially after President Lalovich took over as president of our international federation. So I would like to give thanks to President Lalovich for his visionary spirit 
in sports, not only in beach wrestling, and uh, also the all the beach wrestling commission uh, for all the development that we had in our sport and the great work, especially uh, guys like uh, Pedro Silva, who is a true engineer of beach wrestling World Series, uh, Carlito, who is presenting the webinar uh, today, Uwe, and all the other members. Also thank Jean Daniel, sports director of United World Wrestling, and the marketing team, the technology team. Uh, beach wrestling is a very important, like I said before, strategic tool to UWW for some reasons. It's, it eventually will become a salvation for gender equity in our sports. It is a, it is a marketing strategic uh, modality because all companies want to sell in the beach. It's, it gives a, a beautiful background to our sport. And also in, as a development tool, countries that have social problems and, and have uh, problems with resources can easily uh, promote wrestling in the beaches as they don't have money to, to buy mats and the necessary materials. So beach wrestling will grow. We are already in the games for Youth Olympic Games for Dakar 2026. It was supposed to be 2022, but due to the pandemics, they changed it. So I believe beach wrestling has a Olympic future ahead. And if we use it properly, we can grow and there's no limit for us. So I would like to give the floor now to my friend Pedro Silva, my colleague in the UWW Bureau. Great guy, a, very, a hard worker, does a great job engineering uh, beach wrestling by my side with the, along with the Beach Wrestling Commission. So thank you very much for your attendance. Hello, everybody. Uh, I sincerely hope that uh, you are all and uh, your respective families doing uh, uh, very well. And uh, if possible, uh, you are already wrestling again. And if not, we will all be wrestling again uh, very soon, either on the mats or on the sand. I, I would like to, 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 to thank uh, your attendance here. Thank the kind words of my uh, brother, Pedro Gamma uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and share his uh, uh, optimism and uh, this vision that uh, wrestling started in the sand many centuries ago and our future will not only be in the mat but it will be also uh, uh, on the sand. So when we started to uh, uh, revamp uh, uh, beach wrestling in the last uh, few years, uh, we asked ourselves uh, a couple of questions. What does the IOC, the media, the broadcast, the audience, the sport, the fans, and we as uh, UWW and uh, our wrestling family want? What do we want? And the, the answer was uh, very easy. We want more followers for our sport, more people engaging with wrestling, more wrestling exposure, exposure in the media, social media, normal media, regular media, more wrestling in the games, more happy wrestlers. We need and want more wrestling and better wrestling. So what did we need to do? And we created the Beach Wrestling World Series. Uh, and the first thing we focused were, was on the rules and uh, uh, therefore also this uh, webinar with this subject today. And the first thing that was really, really uh, basic and the, the main focus is What's written must be what happens on the sand. So the rules on the paper are exactly equal to the rules on the sand. And what does that mean? Well, it means that the rules are done proof. Everybody understands immediately. And whoever uh, uh, may watch or uh, attend any of the events last year, either from the Beach Wrestling World Series or the several games uh, uh, our sport were, was present at, you could see the, the, the candid audience 
or the, the, the non-wrestling audience, after one minute, they could easily understand every uh, uh, rule of our uh, rule book. And at the same time, we meant it to be spectator friendly, meaning dynamic, no dull moments, no stops, and most uh, important, no room for interpretation or subjectivity. Uh, uh, no need a five-year degree to understand half of the rule book. So keep it simple and everybody can make uh, a call. Basically, keep it simple, less is more. At the same time, to promote uh, 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 the creation of storylines, to promote uh, uh, winner, uh, uh, heroes uh, uh, of our sport, uh, uh, we uh, created a system of ranking. So the world champion is not someone who wins one event, but the world champion is the wrestler that has most ranking points at the end of uh, uh, a year. So uh, uh, if we see the next uh, slide, you see, next slide please. You see the next slide, you see a table that has ranking points. Previous slide, thank you. You see a table that has ranking points based on the, your position on any given uh, event. So if we have a, a, a series that is composed of three stops and one final, each stop awards this number of points and then the final it's the, these points times uh, uh, three because it's the number of uh, stops that were uh, previously uh, attributed. Next slide, please. So these were the changes. How do we know it worked? We have some R data where we compare both sets of rules and that data shows that there were significant improvements on very important indicators, namely the number of points per match. And then there are also some subjective evaluation done. The num the, the, what we call the wow factor, the number of uh, 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 spectator outbursts in the stands or around the, the, the spectator areas where everybody gets uh, 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 a good surprise of a, a spectacular move. Another thing is the Rocky vibe. Uh, what we call the Rocky vibe, we call that uh, uh, feeling where till the last second of a match, anything can happen. So if we have a three points row that immediately finishes the, 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 the match, we don't know right till the last second of the match who is going to win. Throughout the, 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 uh, the year, we had several events where uh, uh, we have uh, changes of winner right in the last uh, moments of, uh, of the match. The wrestling family react, reaction was also very good, uh, uh, both on site and the, 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 the increased interest of, uh, of uh, federations and uh, uh, wrestling uh, uh, members that didn't take part uh, uh, on the events last year, but showed interest was also very interesting. And uh, we, we did some uh, studies with candidate audience and focus groups that uh, uh, provide us uh, very good information uh, regarding the reaction and the acceptance of uh, these uh, changes. Next uh, slide, please. So this is basically what happened in 2019. We have four stops, three, four events, three stops and the final. Chaves, Portugal, Region of Brazil, uh, Odessa, Ukraine, and the final in Zagreb, Croatia. We had a total of 162 athletes from 22 countries and three continents. And that was the typical schedule of uh, the, the, the event from uh, last year. For this year, uh, we have uh, foreseen, next slide please.
same number of stops, less than four wouldn't be a series, five would be risky participation wise on the Olympic year. And the stops were located on uh, beach locations or major uh, landmarks with plenty of tourists that could uh, be turned into a uh, candidate audience. Uh, and locations where the host uh, guarantees plenty of local participants and locations where the engaged countries can travel with lower costs. Unfortunately, we are all going through uh, uh, this uh, pandemic and we couldn't deliver uh, on 2020 uh, the Beach Wrestling World Series calendar. But this is also the plan for uh, next year. And hopefully, I, I uh, hope to, to uh, meet you again uh, uh, wrestling again uh, on the sand on 2021. Uh, Before giving the floor to Rui and the Stilianos, uh, I will leave you uh, with a, a, a video of the ANOC World Beach Games that are uh, uh, celebrating uh, the one year anniversary right now. And uh, I leave you with this uh, beautiful set of images from uh, Doha, Qatar. Rui, if you may. Okay. Thank you so much, Pedro Gama Filho and uh, Pedro Silva. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, our first uh, webinar in English. Tomorrow we will have uh, the Spanish version and afterwards uh, with the French. Uh, I would like, we would like to thank you so much to Carlos Garcia who helped uh, this, this webinar and the next ones. Uh, this is the main objectives for today. Uh, we're going to start now. As you know, uh, there is some differences uh, between uh, beach wrestling and Olympic styles, of course. Uh, this difference can be seen here at uh, the WAG so categories. We have four categories for women and women in men with difference of 10 kilos. That's why there is a huge difference between, between uh, of the Olympic wrestler, or Olympic uh, uh, wrestling and beach wrestling. The same happened to cadets and juniors. Uh, there is some, uh, some differences between the, the, the seniors. And I have to, to say that uh, cadets and juniors has to, they have to, to give to the referee, besides the medical certificate, the parental certificate, if they want to go to the next, to the next uh, uh, category. So uh, sometimes it's different to, to the referee to know, that's why is it must be informed that's why we are informing here on this webinar because of the medical certification is needed and required uh, to achieve to go to the next category so the, the competition system uh, we have uh, 
we have it's okay it's here uh, Nordic system less for uh, five wrestling wrestlers uh, from this point well it's similar to the Olympic wrestling for uh, to go to the two groups created uh, of four wrestlers from this point or that it means seven particip participants then the first ranking of each group will move forward to the semi-finals or, or the quarterfinals. Uh, in principle, there is no drawing of the lots because the wrestlers, like Pedro Silva said before, is going to be paired the, according with the ranking of the beach wrestling. Uh, but there is an exception because uh, if a wrestler doesn't have uh, any ranking, the automatically and random draw will be uh, presented to him in order to compete on the competition. Well, this is the same what happened. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to skip this, but this is the same. The same philosophy about the the competition system. I'm going to skip this. This is the same it happens because uh, it must be, it must be, uh, I'm sorry, it must be a knockout, it must have the more a knockout in order to arrange the ideal number of the wrestlings. No, no big changes here uh, between beach wrestling and Olympic wrestling. And this is the the ranking criteria in order to uh, put in the same qualification that is a criteria in order to to uh, get the ranking and uh, will be determined by this criteria and let's go to the referee system to the referee team so uh, in the beach wrestling, there is a difference, a big difference between uh, the referee team because the central referee only has uh, one wrestling, one, sorry, one referee. And this decision uh, prevails above all. Uh, this is the most important person of the referee team, uh, is the referee of the central referee is uh, on the sand is uh, directly to observe and to score the wrestlers um, although he can he can consult the technical secretary uh, but if there is any conflict between us uh, a decision not the same decision the decision of the referee will prevail he has the final uh, decision, uh, as, you, as you know, differently of the, uh, the Olympic style. The technical secretary, he can, uh, he must, he must follow the, the referee decisions and write it down on the score sheet, uh, the corresponding uh, points given by the referee. Uh, as uh, about the the score sheet, uh, the score sheet besides the 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 signature of the technical secretary must be signed also with the central referee. So we need both to sign the score sheet. Uh, as you know, uh, beach wrestling is a very very dynamic very dynamical, almost without uh, any interruptions. Um, so it's uh, essential that the referee must stay focused, must stay concentrated in order to, uh, to see and to uh, avoid uh, minor errors or mistakes, uh, because uh, you're going to see some videos uh, afterwards. And I can say, is uh, three minutes for any match 
but uh, to end a, a match or to three minutes, uh, it's rare. It's rare because the, as you, we said before, uh, the competition is very dynamic. The matches are very dynamic. It's always keep up. When the, the, the match is ending, another one is almost beginning. It's very dynamic in order to, uh, to the public to stay on the, the arena. So this is the score sheet. Uh, classification points, technical points. It's very similar to the Olympic styles. And scoring action in holds. Now I will give the, the word to Stilianos, my friend. Silianos, your mic, your mic is off. Please turn it on. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to see you and talk to you even this way. I hope you are all well and that this situation will end soon and meet you again at the arena. This issue that I will talk about is the scoring action and holds. We we'll start uh, with one point. Uh, the wrestler who manages to bring any of his opponent's body part to the ground except the hands. Everybody understand? When we see the wrestler, the opponents in the ground, but if he put his body down, we see if he's a hand, we don't give point. The second, to the wrestler who manages to bring any of his opponent's body part out of the competition arena. But uh, be careful, it uh, foot goes underneath to the ribbon, it will equally be considered out. The referee must stay to correct position so can see if the, uh, the uh, foot go under the ribbon, because it is very important. One point uh, also goes to the wrestler whose opponent has received a caution for illegal action. Um, we can give a caution to the wrestler to uh, negative wrestling, so to uh, uh, have a negative wrestling. Uh, next page, read. Can you, can you? Uh, also keep in mind the attacker, only the attacker can put one knee and only one to the ground when executing an action. If this action is finished by the opponent in the ground. I think everybody understand uh, the, there is only for the attacking wrestler and put one but uh, if after placing on knee to the ground the attacking wrestler only brings he or he opponent out of the circle without the projection or through he she will lose one point in the final now the action must be dynamic 
and without fouls. The referee uh, must stop about uh, the wrestler if he don't do it nothing. It is the action is not so dynamic. She must stop the match and give one point to the attack uh, wrestler. After placing one knee to the ground, we will, we will only evaluate the action if he, she doesn't chance to other technical uh, movement. Before we start with the uh, videos, I would like to, to add help pull for the referee. After one action, if he doesn't have a clear image, he can look the sand on the wrestler body and it, this way take a better decision. Uh, it's, uh, I think the referee, for referee, it's very uh, good to see the the body of a uh, wrestler. So, in the design, uh, there is out. Uh, let's see same, uh, so, some sad, short videos to understand better these things we said. Uh, can you play, Rui, the video? Stop, stop, here, here, we will show the wrestler uh, with a red uh, sword, his leg go under, underneath, in the reboot. One more time, can I see one more time, the first video? Now. Stop here. You see the, the okay. So the wrestler with uh, blue swords, she's won when uh, one point. Next video. Next. Here. It's a slow motion. It's the same thing. the wrestlers uh, step out of the circle of the arena. Let's pass it. The next three. Now we will see the hand out. But the, the, the video goes to slow motion. The video doesn't play. Now, continue. Yes. So we see the wrestler, attack wrestler, he put the hand outside. So we must stop direct the match. You see here, stop here. Yes. So he loses one point here. 
Next. Rui. Next video. Here we'll see the woman. She go to the to the knee, two knee the two knee uh, in the ground. So we stop the match, go to the center, give point for the wrestler with a red uniform. Here, next, continue. Here we'll see, no, no, the next, next. Previous. Look at the previous uh, with elbow down, elbow down. Here. Here we will see the, the girl with the blue uniform go down with a elbow. Here. Okay, next one. Next one. The video with uh, one knee and uh, dynamic. Next, next. Christianos, I think uh, there is some problem in your internet connection uh, because Me? we are Mine. seeing the, 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 the correct video. And then we don't have time. Uh, you must be to to say or uh, to do something more fast. You know. I'm not sure which video that you are you you are you saying seeing now. There is a delay in my video. Yes, I know. So we are, we are watching the very, very slow, very slow. Can you continue? Yeah. Yeah. To the next. To one dynamic. No, no. We are. You are. Uh, we are on the next one. Two knee down. Two knees down. Yeah. Two knees down. Yeah. Okay, okay. The video is... Uh... Here. Here we will see two knees down. Uh, okay, let's go. There is a delay. 
This is the I same. Let's go. I, can, I, can, I cannot see. Okay. Let me let me help you. Here you are watching one point attacking with two knees down. Uh, as uh, Siciliano said before, two, two knees down, it's impossible to score. Even the attacking wrestling cannot, cannot be with two knees down. One knee is okay, two knees is impossible. Okay? One point is not to, add to attacking wrestling, to wrestler, but to the defending wrestling. Because what? Because of the two knees of the attacking wrestling. Let's go. Sometimes, uh, unfortunately, the central referee must be, uh, must uh, give some caution, and caution, of course, is allowed in beach wrestling. This is a video of uh, an example of this. The referee stopped and give the caution. And I'm sure that the referee previous uh, warned the wrestler of his fall. Well, it happens that in beach wrestling there is no danger position. And this is an example of this. So, if you look carefully, no matter 19 degrees or less, but in beach wrestling, must be of the backs, the back. So it's not no, it's no need to, uh, no need to, or don't you don't have, don't use the danger position in order to score the projections of the beach wrestling. Here it goes. Let's go. One point, but one knee ending the action. Here we go. Always dynamic, no pause. No matter the knee down and one knee, I must underline this, one knee, one knee, but without pause, very dynamic, it must be scored. Here, one point, no matter the amplitude, there is only one point because of the chest. No matter grand amplitude, amplitude, this is for Olympic styles, is uh, the, the beach wrestling don't apply here. The danger position, neither the grand amplitude. Here, Here, no matter the one knee that the wrestler one is back the defending bats, but it was not dynamic. It was a small pause here. The referee must blow the whistle and give one point to the defending wrestler. That is the same of a video. It, uh, the defending wrestling wrestler, if you look carefully, you can sh see, well, minus, uh, I don't know, less than 90 degrees, I think, but not in danger position, because there isn't any danger position. I'm going to uh, underline again this, uh, it must be three points, uh, like we're going to see uh, after. Three points must be the backs, the back uh, of the defending wrestling. Here it goes. The three points, because uh, there is only one point or three points in beach wrestling. Beach wrestling, um, you can win if you score 
three points. There is, there is the, the reason, the main reason why it's very dynamic, very fast matches. Uh, as, we say, as we said before, no exists as a position. Uh, angle of less than 19 degrees is not considered a three points. Uh, although it's actually allowed to attacking wrestler to take uh, hand, elbow or knee when they're falling down in order to protect himself and the defending wrestling, the wrestler. Uh, so that is allowed, but during only the, 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 down, the falling down. So this is an example of three points. Three points, but please pay attention. Please pay attention because attacking wrestler lose three points. It's okay in Olympic styles. It's not okay in beach wrestling. Beach wrestling, uh, the attacking wrestler will lose three points because he lands on the, on the sand on his back. Please, sometimes it's difficult to athletes that of course coming from the Olympic styles to understand this. It's very, so many years uh, to uh, tactics and techniques, but this is similar. Sometimes it's similar to the beach wrestling, sometimes it's not. That is the main difference between beach wrestling and the Olympic styles is this. So no doubts about it, three points. Here, three points, very low pro projection and rolling. That's one, if you look carefully. The defending wrestler went uh, to the sand first on his back. So it was the same dynamic, a counter response uh, of the blue wrestler and he won the three points. I'm sorry, I, my mistake, the red, the red one did the counter attack. So three points easily. Even the, the knee of the defending wrestler went down. Another situation of dynamic, no stop, no pause, three points. And here happened the same. The first wrestler went back, it was the attacking wrestler. This is main important to explain to the wrestlers and the coaches, to explain this big, big, huge difference between beach wrestling and uh, the Olympic style. So, I'm so sorry about uh, some disinterpretation um, too fast but we have a schedule to keep. Uh, but I think there is still time to see some expecto situations. This qualification I'm going to put uh, here. So the wrestler doesn't salute as his uh, obligation to the referee.
he is arguing something, some technique, some score. So you can see here the disqualification of the, the wrestler. Uh, this is a case, a rare case. I only see two times. Zero the tide of zero zero, ending the match. So what the rule said says is uh, that uh, uh, the last uh, lightning uh, wrestler. <coughs> I'm sorry, Lightning Wrestler is going to, to win the match in case of 0-0. Zero, zero. The lighter Wrestler is going to, to win. ending the match and the lighter lighter wrestler wins this is a, a rule also in case of zero zero but like i said uh, i only have seen these two times i think consultation is allowed in uh, beach wrestling also. Sometimes there is some doubts about the central referee and the central referee uh, asks for opinion of the technical secretary. But uh, like we said before, the decision prevails of the referee. The referee uh, he is, uh, it's your, the, the final decision will prevail but the consultation is allowed. So I'm not sure if you have, we have some time some, to some questions. Carlos Garcia. Carlos Garcia, I don't know if you are here. I think so. So let me choose uh, some questions. Um, We have some time. There is a question asking when Olymp uh, when beach wrestling goes to the Olympics. Well, I think uh, beach wrestling has a great potential, has a good path, and I think is a a good opportunity uh, to go to the Olympics. We are working hard in order to achieve that. But I think it's a, a global work. All the, the staff of UVV, all the referees, of course, the wrestlers and the coaches and the national federations uh, must, be, uh, must be very united about it. But I think there is a good chance 
of getting to the lipids. So like I said, there is another question here, zero, zero. Is the lighter, lighter uh, wrestler who will win the matches in case only of zero, zero? Oh, there is a question here, who wants to buy official ring circle? I think you, if you contact the VV, I think they you'll give that information. Uh, and um, about the weighing categories, but I think I'm going to pass Pedro Silva. There is a question here. Uh, to put uh, 60 kilos for seniors and 50 kilos for juniors. I'm sure that Pedro Silva uh, is going to help us about this one, sir. So thank you for the presentation. There's a, a couple of uh, questions here uh, through the, the chat. Uh, whoever wants to, to add uh, their questions to the chat, please uh, feel free to do. So we are in the process of adding uh, uh, more categories for the, the younger age groups, um, namely amongst other reasons, also because we are on the program for the next Youth Olympic Games that are foreseen or scheduled for uh, Senegal. Uh, we were supposed to happen in 2022. Now they are postponed till 2026. And there we'll have, uh, just like in the senior age group, four categories for both male and female, making it a, a perfect example of a full uh, gender, gender balance. Um, Pete Zafros uh, asked uh, um, another, the question, what are the other tiebreakers beside the uh, uh, lowest uh, weight um, for, uh, for zero, zero? So uh, uh, first, I would like to say that it's very, very, very rare, the zero, zero uh, situations. Uh, according to the, the, our data from uh, last year, um, the, the zero, zero situations were below 3% of the, the cases. Uh, the, the, the next, uh, uh, Criteria is the lowest uh, uh, draw uh, draw number. The smallest number uh, on the draw or on the ranking gets the, the win on this uh, situation. Concerning where can one purchase the, the official ring circle, UWW has been using a, a Turkish uh, company. And uh, if you contact UWW, either the sports department or me or Pedro Gemefil by uh, email, Contacts are available on UWW website. We'll be happy to provide you with uh, with uh, the supplier uh, details so you can uh, approach them. Uh, and I believe uh, uh, we went uh, through uh, all uh, all the questions. I would just add for the the, the senior uh, weight categories, we don't foresee adding more than four categories for uh, each uh, gender, but we do foresee. Uh, extending that same logic for the other, for the other uh, age groups. If you have any more question, uh, uh, I would like uh, to to reinforce the fact that you can uh, put it through the the, the, the chat. Um, if uh, if not, I would like to to reinforce uh, uh, the, the the gratitude of, uh, of the interest that. We have more questions here for attending this uh, webinar and the, your uh, dedication to wrestling and beach wrestling in, in a specific. Uh, if the score ends 1-1, the, the last one to score uh, wins. Uh, if, if a country does not want to send wrestlers to beach wrestling competition, but wrestler wants to compete so, is it possible that one can come to play by his own effort? 
according to uh, UWW Constitution, uh, participation must be through the National uh, uh, Federation. Uh, um, whatever arrangements the, the National Federation does with the participants regarding uh, uh, who pays for what uh, uh, is the National Federation concerned, but all, all entries must come through uh, Athena and through the National uh, Federation. I'm not sure if there's any more questions. If not, uh, uh, and before giving the floor to Pedro Gama Filho to uh, uh, wrap this up as a Beach Wrestling Commission President, uh, I would like to, to thank uh, once again, you all for your uh, attendance, uh, but also thank uh, uh, all the uh, yes, all, all the webinars uh, are uh, stored the, on the. There was the question here if you have access to this webinar, and I'm uh, saying that. All the webinars uh, are available on uh, UWW website under webinars and uh, soon it will be posted there and you'll be able to access uh, it. So I would like to wrap this up to uh, 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 thank you all again for your attendance and your interest uh, in uh, beach wrestling. Uh, um, reinforce my uh, my uh, certainly that beach wrestling or uh, uh, wrestling on the sand was uh, uh, our roots uh, and is our roots but it's also uh, uh, our our present and our future and a bright future uh, might I uh, I have thank you for uh, 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 all the, the artwork that uh, uh, the, the educators done not only here for this uh, uh, webinar, uh, Rui Marta and Stiliano Shkanidis, but also the, uh, the very hard work they have uh, put uh, through on the development uh, of the Beach Wrestling World Series and a, a very uh, serious uh, uh, refereeing uh, throughout the, the, the year and throughout the years, both of them have uh, uh, a life dedicated to wrestling and to refereeing and sometimes uh, uh, sport people tend to not value referees as much as they should be valued because without referees there is no uh, sport competition so thank you uh, both and uh, uh, I hope that uh, you can uh, tomorrow uh, join if you understand uh, the webinars under the same subject in uh, Spanish and in uh, French. And thank you once again, and I give the floor to Pedro Gamefi. Thank you, Pedro. Uh, I would like to thank Hui and Stilianos for their terrific job. Also Carlito for all his help and the UWW team. Like Pedro very well said, uh, beach wrestling can be a very important development tool for every national federation. Uh, not only that, it can be also a very important de uh, strategic development tool for UWW in the future if we use it right. So we have a big chance in Dakar 2026. And if we do it right, in, if we have the commitment of the national federations, if we have the right participants and the, commit, the commitment of the wrestling uh, society as a whole, we can build a sport that can create a true legacy. And like Pedro well said, we came from the sand and our future is the sand as well. We can sell more sponsors, we can create revenue streams and it's only the beginning. So I ask everybody to join us in this great adventure. I thank everyone who helped in the past and uh, but the future is bright for us and I hope everybody stays safe and we're going to win this pandemics and I wish all the best for every one of us. Okay, thank you very much.